Hey, this is Dave with OC Astronomy. Last night I did an unboxing of the Celestron uh, CGX mount and telescope, and uh, we had a problem. Um, I'll demonstrate the problem here briefly, and I'll go through the steps that the Celestron rep told me to try. And we're gonna try those out and see if we can get the hand controller to work. Otherwise, we are gonna be sending it back. Yay. So the problem is, turn on the power button located there and the hand controller says uh, CGX ready and ready for alignment. So uh, what it wants to do is um, whenever you hit the power button, it will come up and it should go to home sensor on the right ascension and the declination axis. Um, but let's watch and see what happens. Press enter to begin, press enter to move. So it is moving the right ascension axis, getting it straightened up, and that's all. It does not move the declination axis, and if you look at the thing, it sits here and scrolls uh, that it's doing something, but it's not. So what he said to do was to go through the... Um, the menus, let's see, go back, hit menu, and go to um, factory reset. So I'm going to have to scroll through here, go to factory reset, and let's see, that's under utilities. Let's go set map position, sun menu, hibernate, access factory settings. Warning. Press zero button to reset the entire mount back to factory defaults. It's okay. I haven't done anything with the mount yet except see if it works, so I don't have any user settings in there. So I'm gonna hit okay. Press zero. Okay, it says cycle power. So, to do. Give it a good count, turn it back on. All right, so now we get again, verifying packages. Please wait. English, Espanol. Oh, it's asking for language. I want zero for English. Enter to accept. Initializing, please wait. So it says, press enter to begin alignment. Switch position. Press enter to move positions. So let's see. It says moving to switch position. No, it's not. The RA was already happy, so it should be moving the declination now. It's not. Okay, so now we know factory default was not the answer. Didn't think it was. Um, our next step is update the firmware and the hand controller. If that doesn't work, update the firmware and the motors. Probably going to be sending it back to Celestron. Anyway, we'll see if the hardware, if the uh, hardware uh, update works. I'll, tr I'll try the firmware and see if that does the job. Uh, but in order to do that, I've got to go to, a, to the web page, download their uh, firmware, firmware manager, download the zip file, connect to the USB, which I'm gonna to have to get the drivers for, and connect to the USB on the bottom of the hand controller. So we've got a USB port here. Um, connect to that and do the firmware upgrade. And we'll be back. So I am trying to do the Celestron um, firmware upgrade and it has the mini USB cable to, uh, to plug into. Plugged it into my Windows device and it said no driver found. So naturally I went to the USB uh, hand control page on, on their website and I'm looking in there uh, for support and there's a firmware manager download but there is no, um, there's no support, there's no driver for the USB port. 
Um, I would think that would be obvious. Uh, I'll keep looking for it. But right now my cable will not talk to the hand controller. Okay, so after I was able to download the USB port driver, I was able to get the Celestron firmware manager up. It says it has discovered uh, four devices, the Nexstar Plus, the CGX, the RA switch, and the DEX switch. And it says all packages successfully downloaded. And there's a scroll bar, I guess. Let's see, or is that done? All packages successfully downloaded, no update activity. Let's try update, loading packages. Oh, there we go. So it is updating and loading packages, one of two. And two of two. Your device is up to date. So it's just gone through the RA switch, and it's just gone through the other switch. Loading packages, CGX, two out of 11. You can see the activity there. It is scrolling through each of these devices and updating them one by one, which I can't be angry at how that's doing. It's, it's going through each one of them. We'll see here in a minute if this is successful to wake up the declination mode. We'll see. Now the moment of truth. We have updated the firmware. I'm going to let the RA be off there. Let the deck be off there. And we're going to see if it woke up the deck motors to do that update. So press enter to begin. Press enter to move. I'm holding my breath. I really do not want to send this back. It's a good looking mount. I just wish that it worked straight right out of the box. Okay, there goes the RA. Moving to switch position on RA. I'll give it a little while. It says it's still moving. I can hear it doing something in there. The, gear, the gearbox is making some small noise, but I'm gonna just sit here and let it run. It may take a few minutes to try. I'm gonna give it every opportunity before I try to do any kind of return. But right now it does not look happy. It looks like it has done the RA and it is not doing the deck. So back to quality management. 